Hi, I'm Kai. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. I hope you like the new setup. And on this episode, we're going to check out a game. Made it Figma. I know, it's bizarre. So if you don't know Figma, it's a vector editor and a prototyping tool which is so useful in design. And we'll get into the details of what Figma can and cannot do in another episode. But basically what you've got to wrap your head around before we get into it is the fact that it's mostly like Illustrator where you have vector graphics and it has smart animations for changing from one screen to another to for you to check show your prototype to other people. But somebody made a game. So let's quickly check out the game. It's called Dr. Belmont vs. The Disease. We'll play through it very quickly. It's still a demo, so that's going to be short. And then we're going to break down how exactly Daniel made it. That's the creator, Daniel Allen. Big shout out to him. And also stick around to the end because we're going to try out something similar ourselves. So let's quickly break it down. First things first, it's called Dr. Belmont vs. The Disease. You can find it over on the community tab or you can just search Dr. Belmont and it will show this project. Alan Gore Rocket Crew presents Dr. Belmont vs. The Disease demo. I like the marquee text at the bottom. Just So that's a trans scene transition from one to the... Okay, we'll get into the details. Uh, after we've broken down the game, after we played the game, sorry. And um, I like that scene transition of just this guy turning and you, it slowly zooms in and the letterboxing starts from the top and the bottom. So it, 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 it really immerses you into, you know, it really is a game. It is this day I decide my fate. My husband has been gone for months and most of the town has turned already. I can already feel the icy grip resting a hold upon me. Based upon my experiences with the others in town, I'm convinced I now have three days left before I'm under the thrall as well. So in the game lore, thro this, the thrall is a disease that is that has taken over the world or the town or however many people there are and our protagonist is only has three days and then they will die. The night terrors have already begun and my mouth is constantly dry. My body shakes and I find my appetite has left me. What hope do I have left? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it's 2021. We could we could muster up some hope. So, I I, I gotta keep uh, clicking. It's a click based game. Maybe this is the last time I'll see these mountains. Maybe it's fine to end it now. Will the Blessed Mother forgive such a grievance? I don't know. Will she? Might I be forgiven even from the thought itself? And there's hellfire from the bottom, just, you know, um, foreshadowing your doom and the fact that your days are pretty numbered. It's, 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 it's a downer, sort of, up until this point. It, it takes a little time to load because these are all different scenes that you have, that you have to transition from and, uh, smart anime does take a little, um, you know, RAM to work with. It seems I only have two options. Give in or give up. I like how you immediately say give in, give up, and then there's like, what, wait, what if? Or what else could there be? What is it? Maybe I could try to cure the thrall. I could avenge my village. Or I could run. I like how it's she gets this idea of curing it like three days when she has, she just has three days. <laughs> like that is a hmm, maybe I don't know, like I could go around curing it. How 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 do you even uh cure it? But this the season to cure shit, so I hope you do. My studies in physia, magica, menta, and chemica. Could they aid me in this dire time of need? <laughs> I like how now she's reminded. Ki, oh wait, I did. Uh, oh shit, I do have a PhD in uh, like curing diseases. Should I? Should I make use of that? I don't know. Should I? How could I have the hubris to think that I could stand against the forces of darkness? I don't know. I mean, uh... oh, that's that's his stuff. See, mean you would have said something rousing to me right about now. Something about duty, perhaps. It's cowardly to put my sorrow above the death and suffering around me. And yet I'm still lost at sea. 
Huh. And right then, you see a flame in the distance. What is that on the horizon? Is it a sign? It's it's disappearing. That that is your sign, buddy. That is what did it mean? It meant I should cure the thrall. Clearly it meant avenge the village. It was an invitation to something. I I don't know. <laughs> that reminds me of God of War. I I don't know. <laughs> um what did it mean? Um should we should we take it as a message that uh, it meant I should cure the thrall? I mean I don't know, does the world revolve around us so much that they would, uh, you know, give us a blasting sign way in the distance? Maybe it was a sign for somebody else in um, some other part of the globe. They would have, a lot of people would have seen that, right? I guess it was an invitation to a party, like, to be... <laughs> so that's pretty much it. it uh, it'll be continued in the full game. And the creator does have a subreddit up for this uh, specific game. And they have explained their entire process. But at the same time, let's quickly get into it. So once you want to check out a project that somebody has uploaded, you can just duplicate it. And once we have that duplicated, it will open up and get ready. It might be a little overwhelming, but I promise you it will be worth it. And um, so immediately you see a lot of screens, like a lot and uh, but don't worry these are these are all the separate frames in the game and um, this is not how game development is usually um it's it's just how you would go about it if you were doing it on figma and these are all the assets that the uh, that daniel downloaded now the website for these assets is provided on the reddit post I'll link the Reddit post in the description below. But if we start, here is the idle title. And from here to here, if you want to check, if you check out prototype, you can see that uh, there is a very small, yeah, there is a transition here, which is a slow dissolve for uh, which happens over a second. And that is how you see the title screen. And all of these screens, it, it slowly goes from one to the to the next and what is the best about this is that this is a gif and uh, so you see the protagonist just constantly moving right you don't have to design multiple screens for that you can just import a gif which will keep moving inside that same very screen and uh, oh apparently if you had waited long enough it would have gone all the way to a screen like this oh that's interesting damn should have waited <laughs> and um so the intro is so again this is a slow you can see the prototype here to check this out and uh, basically what it does is it smart animates these two boxes and what i'll bet you right is yeah so you see this you see this box which is called rectangle 2 so it's it's gonna be here on uh, this frame as well it's gonna be called rectangle 2 here so rectangle 2 rectangle 2 and it, it has this smart animate prototype so essentially the smart animate prototype just um senses what the changes are and smoothly transitions from this to this and that is how it creates the letterbox feeling while you're getting into the game and similarly all of these screens are there in the previous ones as well for example this parchment is there on this as well as the first start um screen this this has a parchment and this has a parchment and it just comes up from here to here and so so that's gonna fade in into your screen and uh, whenever whenever you set up a click option let's so you, you get the basics of what is going on here, right? These are all various frames that are smart animated together. And, oh wow, there is, wait, what? 
there is an eaten life oh ah so there are multiple endings i i feel we should have gotten into that before but so this is the ending if we would have went for giving in and uh, let's quickly break down how it how exactly it uh, works once you have these three options so all of these options have a rectangle over the, over it if we go to this frame which one is it yeah given if we go to the given frame and we check out this text it has a um so it has a prototype that connects it to um another frame which and it has an interaction of click and it dissolves from this frame to the next that is the animation and that precisely says ki if you click on this go to this frame by animating this manner and you go to the given uh i'm sorry where is it yeah so if you get into the um ending of given it just slowly takes you from here this fades in this fades in as well she just says i have lost the will to fight what would you have done to me and you would have fought to the end i've lost the will to fight i am a researcher and thinker not a fighter and they just the sky turns green because that is what happens if you give in then it turns black then you're all alone then you zoom in and it just asks it says what have i done and uh, the terror takes over oh wow that's that's uh, that's scary and uh, you shout simian and you're dead yep that is if you give in if you give up which so you're eaten alive so the thrall in this lore is not actually a disease but more like a um a what would you call it? i can't remember if you can remember what it is put it in the comments below and in this final one of suicide um that's giving up and i believe they jump do they it it again zooms out and i believe they should be jumping here like this is the transition so if we check out give up and uh, the woman idol goes from here she's um you know she's a little to the front so that's going to animate from this screen to this screen and in the final screen she's still there the woman idol file should still be here and it's slightly at the bottom so it's going to smart animate it from here to here that's all you got to do you've just got to set up the two frames and uh, mention where the objects are in both of those frames and it will smart animate it for you between those frames and uh, yeah it's 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 beautiful what all you can do with smart animate but so these are all the various endings and they're all connected to each other and these are the stock you know free files that they used and um, i i urge you to check out figma and download this file yourself and go through all the endings and um, you can maybe mention in the comments which ending you liked the most so now i want to quickly show you my attempt at something similar i was inspired enough by daniel's work that i wanted to try um you know how do you go about making a game on figma just using everything there is and make it feel as interactive as you can and i figured out a bunch of things first thing was that if you get a bunch of you know stock images and um i for this one i went for 8 bit pixel art and if you if you get a character and you animate it throughout so these are all various gifs so if i go to frame 1 and i sh and i show you that one like i just start at frame 1 where is it and then i play this screen so you can see all the gifs that run when you run your prototype and uh, yeah it's a, it's a little clanky but it works for me it's just for me to quickly check what all these um, gifs do this is the jumping gif this is just an ideal idle gif this is an, another idle gif and uh, oh yeah please don't fight me on whether it's gif or gif um i do not i don't think we have the energy to discuss that in 2021 and um let's play through it once how you know the 
I don't have much right now, but it's still interactive, and I'm and I'm sort of proud of it. And we'll break down what happens here. So yeah, the moment it starts off, it puts you on this, um, in this area with your player on idle. So this is just a GIF that is constantly running. This is the same screen; it's not transitioning at all. And this button gets our first transition, and our player runs across the screen to the other side, and. how i've done that you can download this file once i have it uploaded i'll i'll probably make this into an entire demo and then um tell you once it's up so stay on the lookout for that i'll also try to uh, write up a me- uh, medium article on this same topic so be sure to check that out and once you have run all the way up here you can the scene moves and there is a parallax effect there and you see this box that you can uh, apparently jump over because there is an up option so if you jump it does a very wonky jump animation and ju- gets on top of it and and then you can jump back and go all the way back because that is all that i've made up until this point and he runs all the way back and that's it But this is a very interesting project where uh, you understand a lot about Figma, but from a different direction, not from a, a you know prototyping UI uh, perspective, but just what all you can get up to. So that's pretty much it. I'll have all of these links in the description below if you want to check them out. If you still stuck around, I really do appreciate you, and I hope twenty one is good to you as well. Also I'd love feedback on how you find this new setup and I'm very excited about all the content that we're going to be making in 2021 so be sure to subscribe like share you know the drill until the next episode take care dost